Here's a super tasty little treat for you tires, the bluegill belly bean. Paul Beal is the mad scientist behind this pattern, as well as frankenfly.com, a website you want to bookmark and check daily. The belly bean, although designed for bluegill, obviously will work for numerous other species too. It can be tied in a nearly infinite variety of colors. For a hook, Paul uses a size 6 Daiichi number 4640 60 degree heavy jig hook. Get the hook firmly secured in the jaws of your tying vise with the eye pointed downward like so. For thread, I'm going to use light olive UTC 70 denier, but it really doesn't matter what color as it will barely show at the front of the fly. Get your thread started immediately behind the 60 degree bend and take a few wraps rearward before snipping or breaking off the tag. Relocate your thread to a short distance behind the bend. For this size hook, extra small lead dumbbell eyes, here black and chartreuse, are used for weight, to make the fly ride hook point up, and to give it a jiggy motion when retrieved. Place the eyes diagonally across the hook shank at the location of your tying thread and take cross wraps to get them correctly aligned on the hook. I then take two wraps around just the hook shank and do a few post or yoke wraps like so. I'll once again take a wrap or two around just the hook shank, then circular wraps below the eyes but above the hook to draw all the previous wraps in tight. Then finish with a few thread wraps around the shank. Root beer colored crystal flash is used to add some movement and shimmer at the rear of the fly. A single strand is all you need. Fold the strand in half and get hold of the doubled over segment's midpoint. You'll basically end up with a loop. Place the midpoint on top of the hook shank at the location of your tying thread and take a couple of wraps to secure it before pulling the loop rearward and then continuing to take thread wraps. This is kind of a quick way to end up with four strands pointing out the back and not a lot of material waste. Once the flash is bound down all the way to the start of the hook bend, snip it off to about a full hook in length. If you feel like being thrifty, a single strand of Chacon's barred micro crusher legs, in this case olive and clear, is all that's needed for the entire fly. Advance your tying thread back up the hook to behind the eyes and begin tying in the leg material on top of the shank. Pull rearward on it as you go. Snip the single strand off so it's just a hair shorter than the crystal flash fibers. Take what's left of that strand, fold it in half, and cut it at its midpoint to form two equal lengths. Set these aside for safekeeping as they'll be used later to form all four legs of the fly. Snip free an 8 inch length of small estaz here the color is opal olive, and strip a few of the fibers from one end to expose the string. Begin securing the exposed string to the top of the hook shank right at the base of the tail. Continue binding it down and keep taking thread wraps forward, leaving a hook eye length space behind the dumbbell eyes. Start making touching wraps with the estaz to build up a fairly substantial body on the fly. When you reach your tying thread, use it to secure the estaz then trim the excess off close. There should be enough of the 8 inch length left over for at least another fly or two. Pick up one of the leg segments you stashed away earlier and get hold of it by its midpoint. Place the midpoint on the near side of the hook at the location of your tying thread and take a couple of wraps to secure it. Then pull both strands rearward and kind of spread them out in an angle like so. Pick up the second strand of leg material and repeat the procedure on the far side of the hook. You may need to do a little tugging and twisting on the strands to get them to spread out evenly. You're looking for something like this, but it certainly doesn't have to be exact. The remainder of the fly is formed using Frankendub. Here the color is light olive. Pull a small pinch free from the packet and begin creating a fairly substantial dubbing noodle on your tying thread, about 2 inches in length. Once the dumbing noodle is complete, sweep the legs rearward and begin taking wraps with the noodle to pin the legs back. Then wrap forward to fill in the space behind the dumbbell eyes. Again, reorient the legs if you need to. Take another small pinch of Frankendub from the packet and this time make a much thinner 2 inch long noodle on your tying thread. 
take wraps with it to continue filling in behind the eyes, and then cross wraps over top and beneath to cover up the thread wraps that bind the eyes down. Take a few more wraps of just tying thread right at the start of the 60 degree bend to build up a little head on the fly. Then do a five or six turn whip finish to secure the thread before snipping or cutting it off close. And that's the bluegill belly bean. Remember, the fly is designed and constructed to ride with the hook point up so it won't get snagged on the bottom quite so much. And it will move with a seductive up and down jiggy motion. Thanks Paul, killer pattern.